Hillary Clinton State Department. You have six minutes past the hour. Indeed, we will. At this point now, the Justice Department dropping a case against an American arms dealer over the failed policy in Libya. The former defendant says the government was trying to make him take the fall to protect Hillary Clinton. He spoke exclusively to Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge, who is live with us this morning in Washington. Good morning, Catherine. Well, thank you, Martha. In his first television interview since criminal charges were dropped against him, licensed arms dealer Mark Turi says the Obama administration, with the cooperation of Hillary Clinton's State Department, tried and failed to make him the fall guy for a 2011 covert weapons program to arm Libyan rebels that spun out of control. I would say 100% I was victimized to somehow discredit me, uh, throw me under the bus, you know, do whatever it took to protect their... Um, you know, next presidential candidate. Five years into the investigation, Turi says the Justice Department dropped the case to avoid public disclosure of the weapons program that was designed to force the ouster of Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Turi exchanged emails in 2011 with then U.S. envoy to Libya, Chris Stevens, about a plan to use an Arab ally because U.N. sanctions blocked the U.S.'s direct sales to the rebels. A day after that email exchange, Clinton wrote this email that reads in part, quote, FYI, the idea of using private security experts to arm the opposition should be considered. I can assure you that these operations did take place and those weapons did go in different directions. Who got these weapons? Was it Al-Qaeda? Was it Ansar al-Sharia? Was it ISIS in the end? All of them. All of them. All of them. Curry says he never got the contract or sold the weapons. Instead, it went through two Gulf nations with the State Department in the lead, and that is why it spun out of control, because there wasn't proper vetting on the ground in Libya, with some weapons going to essentially America's enemies and the others heading to Syria, Martha. Incredible. Was she harassed about this, Catherine? Well, in fact, Clinton was pressed on the weapons issue during her 2013 Benghazi testimony. Were any of these weapons being transferred to other countries, any countries, Turkey included? Well, Senator, you'll have to direct, direct that question to uh, the agency that uh, ran the annex. And I will, I will see what information is available. And uh, You're saying you don't know? I do not know. The Justice Department's decision to drop Turi's case just one month before the election and the now public emails really cast Clinton's testimony in a new light, and privately many Republicans believe that she, in fact, misled Congress in that testimony about the weapons program, Martha. A lot of people who thought that was just an off-the-wall question uh, mm -hmm. at the time, but now it appears that there was quite a bit of substance to it. Uh, That's Catherine, correct. Thank you very much. You're welcome. FBI now looking into a deadly plane crash. Why, there may be reason to believe today that this crash...